This is Dr. Leach, and I have got mail yet again. Um, this is another one of those unboxing videos that's not quite like the other unboxing videos, um, and it's sort of a cheat because I've already opened the package, but I gotta show you all the cool stuff that's in this. This is another package from Centipede Press. I've got another video about more, my more recent um, um, package from them, um, but this is one I got, man, just two weeks ago? Um, I, I left it in the, in the box. They, um, Jared includes a whole bunch of cool little extras, uh, usually. Sometimes, I mean, it's almost like whatever's on his dining room table. He sort of throws in the package. Um, it's a great sort of homey, folksy feel. And they're all stuff I love. Um, so when I've opened this one up, again, I've got like the, the bubble wrap and the packaging stuff. But it's got like um, a leftover uh, dust wrapper from one of their other editions. This was the Lair. Um, uh, this really cool collection of uh, of rat-based um, fiction uh, by James Herbert. It's a horrible way of describing it. Uh, look it up. I'll probably put it in the show notes. Um, uh, um, uh, a classic work from the 70s um, that was with two sequels uh, that they just did, I don't know, about six months ago. A gorgeous little um, a collection with um, three volumes in a slipcase. Uh, this is just an extra of the... Um, of the dust jacket, which is really cool and lurid. Can you see that dead body, or possibly partially dead body, being devoured by large rats? Who wouldn't like an extra copy of that? Also, other stuff in here. There are, um, oh man. So there's these little um, stickers of some of the other artwork. Oh, including uh, more rat-based stuff. He works with really good um, illustrators, digital illustrators like David Ho. Um, I'm, that's the only one that's popping to mind. Um, and, and so any of the illustrations are are pretty high end, um, fun stuff. Um, he's also included a couple little descriptions of other Centipede Press books, including this one, which is um, a bunch of the other photographs that were taken on the day of a Beggar's Banquet um, by the uh, Rolling Stones. Yeah. I have to admit, I'm more of a Beagle's guy than the Stones, but this looks like an amazing volume. Um, you know, you you know the cover of, of Beggar's Banquet. Uh, it looks, it, it's gorgeous. There was like a couple dozen other photographs taken that day around that ruined castle. This this is about that. It's got a uh, um, an essay about the 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 recording, the film shoot, yada yada. Looks interesting. There's also something, uh, another little, little booklet about uh, the. Um, at the Mounds of Madness. You know, I'm, uh, I should probably be embarrassed to say, but I really don't like, uh, Lovecraft for just like a variety of reasons. And they're not like, you know, politically based reasons. I just don't like his writing. I love the perspective, a cosmic horror. That's my jam. Totally understand it. The whole weird fiction thing. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, include, please. Give me hate in the in the in the um, in the comments. Lovecraft is just not my thing. Um, uh, you know, if he was based in Detroit or Chicago, maybe I'd make the extra effort. But yeah, Providence, yawn. Um, uh, so th those are some of the extras that were that were put in the package. Uh, there was this other thing that I didn't want to open until now, which is a collection of uh, collectible cards. Oh my God! At any um. Any guy of my age, collectible cards were like the thing. We did wacky packs, we did uh, monster cards. There were all sorts of things. I have Batman-based cards. And when I say Batman, I mean the 1966 only real Batman. Um, I think I have monkeys cards. Anyways, he totally knows that this is, this is my thing. Um, Supernatural Disaster. Um, collect the entire set of 60 Supernatural Disaster cards. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> humanity brought to its knees by unholy forces. I'm sorry, unholy hordes. Yeah, totally my jam. I am using my knobby little fingernails to undo this. And I am ruining the collectible value of this for you, dear watcher. So... There are one, two, three, four, five, six cards. How cool, including um, the dead versus the dead. 
<laughs> Ick Slick Independence Mall. Get the witty wordplay on Mall. Uh, faced with disaster. <laughs> Joint cheats. Joint Chiefs of Stiff and Minority Whipped. Get it? Because he's... Anyways, um, each of them have a, a narrative on the back. Man, this is totally what I used to... I used to walk... Man, I don't remember how far. To go up to... Um, was it Jason's? The On, on the corner there that... Um, and, and, and count out your, your, your pennies to get the wacky packs or the, the, the monster cards. Um, totally my jam. This is amazing. So this is all stuff that came in the box in addition to what I actually ordered, which were uh, awesome editions of their works. Um, and uh, what these were was, um, so he usually does really high end, really, really um, um, snobby, which is you know, obviously close to my heart. Um, the, the very literate, very, uh, uh, um, uh, the, the stuff that's good for you, literature, that's the horror stuff that's good for you. And in this case, he's not doing that. He's doing his usual lovely editions, but these are of uh, some of the most dreadful pulp stuff um, ever, uh, including Orgy of the Dead by um, Ed Wood Jr. Uh, Ed Wood Jr., of course, you know him from, uh, well, you know, should know him at least from the Johnny Depp uh, movie of Ed Wood. Um, which is one of those great um, pain, what do they call it? They, um, uh, uh, epithalamian um, uh, uh, celebration of low budget um, enthusiasm based filmmaking. Uh, see it, uh, totally see it. Man, it's one of my favorite movies, frankly. Um, he was not a great filmmaker, he wasn't even a good filmmaker, but darn it, he enjoyed what he was doing. Um, Sin boldly. If, if you're making stuff, don't try to do the stuff that uh, everyone's making um, lots of money at. Don't just try to make another thing. Do, do something totally insane, like Orgy of the Dead. But wait, there were others. There was Queen of Blood and the Slime Beast. I gotta open one of these. Um, so, uh, Centipede Press editions are always um, very gorgeous. They are uh, hardbound. They usually have a bound-in um, ribbon for uh, keeping track of your place when you're reading them. Because you should read these. These are actually uh, well-designed um, books as books. I know some folks keep them in their shrink wraps, and they're wrong. Um, you should take them out of books and, 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 and read them. This is the way books are supposed to be read. Orgy of the Dead. Um, it's got a gorgeous, nice, nice lurid um, um, <laughs> um, uh, dust jacket. His dust jackets are gorgeous, usually. I will show you. Ah! And there's printing on the, uh, on the book itself. This is lovely. There are illustrations bound in. It does not look like it will um, exhaust me when I read this, as I shall. Uh, 167 pages. I could probably cope through that in a night. And it's got a nice red ribbon bound in to keep my place, should I fall asleep halfway through. Um, oh, oh, dig it. So the... <laughs> I love this kind of stuff. I'm sorry, I'm such a sucker. Um, so the uh, uh, the dust jacket you will see has a nice medallion cut out to show you the, the more fuller illustration. Um, love that stuff. <laughs> um, so um, I believe this collection was, it was really, really reasonable. Get on their mailing list, um, centipedepress.com. Uh, if you get on their mailing list, they'll let you know about um, whenever they do uh, pre-orders for for upcoming editions and they're really relatively reasonable um this is a gorgeous little book isn't it um treat yourself you deserve it frankly and and 
trust me that these are worthwhile spending a, um, you know, a little bit of your bubblegum money on. Um, they're, 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 they're gorgeous books. They're usually very good. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any of these that I've read that, I mean, and frankly, frequently they're, they're books I've never heard of. Um, actually, that's not totally true. I mean, that I've heard of, that I've heard only legends of. Um, like, wow, I should actually read this. And especially now that I've got a nice edition of it, I totally will look at it. Um, CentipedePress.com. This is yet another um, um, unboxing video. Uh, whatever that means. Um, this is uh, Dr. Leech, the Leech Doctor from DailyNightmare.com, your source for Midwest snob horror. Centipede Press is totally snob horror. They just do lovely editions of dark fiction. Uh, lovely editions. Very, very snobby. Very, very well done. Uh, not Midwest technically, but um, oh my gosh. Worth your time. See you later.